you understand your husband could go to jail for intoxicated driving, so you need to just talk to him about, about that. He's obviously impaired. It's, it's, it's obvious. This kind of crush depth for this kind of crash, he was not doing the speed limit this road requires. DUI charges are dropped against a Florida County Commissioner who was accused of drunkenly crashing his truck into a tree near his home. He is a County Commissioner. FYI. So that's why she's going to be very political with you. Very polite, very so um, just take it for a grain of salt. Um, he was obviously drinking. After the April 2022 crash, Manatee County Commissioner George Cruz is seemingly confused speaking with slurred speech. So you're saying that somebody was going around you? Somebody cut, all right, I mean, our, our whole road's being ripped up. So right. they try to curve around me, so I hit my brakes, and I just swerved over her. Okay. All right, why is your shirt wet? What's going on with your shirt? Body camera video shows a sheriff's deputy approach the scene in Bradenton, Florida, where Cruz's crashed Ford F-150 is spotted wrapped around a tree. I ended up hitting this, and his airbag went off, and so now he's kind of a little out of it. And Video shows first responders speaking with Cruz's wife, who says she was following his truck in a separate vehicle when her husband crashed. That's my car, and I just kind of slammed on the brakes. Um, I don't, I don't, I didn't see anything that happened. I have absolutely no idea. Okay, let me talk to him real quick. What's his name? Uh, George Cruz. Before she leads the sheriff's deputy to her husband, Cruz's wife seems concerned about someone reporting the crash in the first place. Did somebody call you? Yeah, the, the whole neighbor. I'm, I'm working the, um, yeah. the uh, special detail in here and the whole, everybody keeps driving up to me. Oh, so, really? yeah. Cruz's wife then points the sheriff deputy to the back seat of her car where her husband is waiting. Hey babe, how are you feeling? Let me come around to that other side and talk to her. Hey, how you doing? Good. How are you? When the sheriff's deputy begins asking Cruz questions about the crash, he says he was cut off by another driver. I'm good. Can you tell me what happened? I was coming through the gate and somebody cut me off and blew right past me. And I tried to like hit my brakes and curve around them and just cut a curve. Next, Cruz audibly slurs his words. A report noted Cruz had, quote, glassy eyes, slurred speech, clammy wet skin, and droopy eyelids following the crash. So you're saying that somebody was going around you? Somebody cut, all right, I mean, our, our whole road's being ripped up. So right. they try to curve around me, so I hit my brakes, and I just swerved over her. After this, the sheriff's deputy asks why Cruz's shirt is wet, and he struggles to explain. Okay. All right, why is your shirt wet? What's going on with your shirt? Is it sweat? It's a sweat. We oh, from I, the airbag? I, 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 the airbag just... Well, the airbag doesn't have water in it, so... It doesn't have water. Why I, is there water? Because I'm, I'm stressed. The sheriff's deputy then asks for Cruz's license and says paramedics are on the way. All right, we got EMS coming to check you out, okay? All right. All right, so just stay in the car for me. Do you, you have your EMS? license on you? Do you need an EMS? <laughs> I don't need EMS. Well, we'll, I, we'll I, have them at least I, come check you out. Airbag a, deployment I, and stuff I, like that. I mean, you you want to have them at least looked yeah. at. I, I so. live a half mile from this house. Okay. All right. Just hang out for me, okay? I'll be back with you in a second. Speaking over the radio, the sheriff's deputy reports Cruz doesn't appear to have any injuries. Jennifer, I was trying to raise you. You see to ask me what injuries there are with that signal Oh, it's airbag deployment. Head on collision with a tree. Um, so. He doesn't really have any injuries to uh, entail per him at the moment. Minutes later, the sheriff's deputy verbalizes for the first time that Cruz is impaired. Hey, uh, vehicle versus tree, single vehicle, no other property damage. Um, the driver is impaired of something. Uh, however, he was not in the vehicle when I got on scene. He was in his wife's vehicle. 
He also notes no one stayed behind on the scene after the crash to confirm whether Cruz was behind the wheel. No, 54. Nobody stayed. So we have no independent witness. I just wanted to run it by you guys and be sure that we weren't going to do anything with it. The sheriff's deputy then circles back to Cruz and his wife, asking for his driver's license once again. Does he have his license on him? Yes. Um, can I get that I from get his Never license. Yeah. Give your license, are you still the Daisy Place address? Yes. 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 In fact, our daughter just drove by with her soccer teammate. Okay. She got all freaked out. Go ahead and call a tow truck. Start getting that on the, on the way. Okay. Next, Cruz's wife asks whether she can take her husband home. Can I bring him home so he can settle down and then I'll get he'll handle this tow truck situation? We're right here on Daisy. This is Daisy. What do you mean? Like you're going to drop him off at home and then... And then I'm, and he can go home with my daughter just drove by. Okay. With her soccer teammate. Yep, that's so fine. can I drop him off with her? And yeah, that's then fine. I can handle yep. No, you're fine. Okay. While Cruz and his wife head home, body camera video captures the sheriff's deputy speaking with another first responder. He says he believes Cruz is drunk. Whatever. Are you... The dude freaking crashed into a tree. Dude, did you road? No, he's drunk. I just can't do a DUI because nobody can put him behind the wheel. When I got here, he was in his wife's car. Oh my God. The sheriff's deputy then appears to assess and investigate the scene. Dude, he did. He just missed his tree. I'm trying to figure out if he. When a third first responder arrives, the sheriff's deputy briefs him on the situation. What's up, man? If it would have happened about 15 minutes sooner, I'd have worked it for you. <laughs> I'm trying to go home. I'm here till 8. I'm trying to look and see how this went down. She's lying. Um, that's his driver's license and, and his uh, registration. I don't have the insurance. This is probably her coming back up, the wife. She went and dropped him off at home. He's intoxicated. He says Cruz and his wife both admitted he was in the vehicle at the time of the crash. But when I got here, he was out of the car, in her car, um, and then there was nobody that stopped to say that they saw him in the car. He's admitting to being in the car and driving. She's admitting to him being in the car and driving, but it is what it is. Single vehicle accident, no property damage or anything like that. It's then that the sheriff's deputy brings up Cruz's status as a county commissioner. He is a county commissioner, FYI. So that's why she's going to be very political with you, very polite, very so. Um, just take it for a grain of salt. Okay. Um, he was obviously drinking. Uh, he's got a Lacroix on, in the in the front seat. He couldn't explain to me how his shirt got wet. Well, it's because he had a Lacroix in his hand when he freaking crashed into the tree, probably. So that just tells you more so that he's intoxicated. Moments later, the sheriff's deputy breaks down what he believes happened. She's working on getting a tow truck here. Um, if you just scratch out a freaking single vehicle crash deal, she can wait for the tow truck. You wouldn't have to wait for it to be on the roadway. Perfect. I was just trying to look at this. I was trying to see where the, the tires went. But it looks like he just missed this tree. It looks like he came up here somewhere. I can't tell where he came up on the, on the curb at. Oh, it must have been right there. There it is. Yep. So, and then you got the two down there that's the tires chirping, and then he made it up onto the curb and smacked into the tree. He also explains the version of events Cruz's wife laid out. Her story is she was driving behind him, and as he and his story after the fact is that somebody cut him off. They pulled around him. She said somebody just cut him off. He said that somebody came around him and cut him off you know, to pass him, and he lost control of the car because the way the road is, which if you're doing the proper speed, he wouldn't have that much crush damage on his hood. So that's just my investigation, traffic investigation crap, but it's just easy, simple, simple uh, single vehicle crash. For the first time, the sheriff's deputy then discusses the possibility that Cruz may go to jail. You understand your husband could go to jail for intoxicated driving. 
So you need to just talk to him about about that. He's obviously impaired. It's it's, it's obvious. This kind of crush depth for this kind of crash, he was not doing the speed limit that this road requires. Cruz's wife deflects, saying the roadway is uneven. I will say though that this asphalt has been a complete shit show. Oh, I agree. And if you get one wrong swerve, it can cause you to go. And people are, are to to a degree. If you're driving, if you're driving the speed limit that he should have been driving, that would not have been the case. You can hold, you can hold control of your vehicle. It's not that slippery. I've driven up and down this road for the last four hours. Okay, at the posted speed limit, and I've had no issues controlling my vehicle. The sheriff's deputy continues urging her to speak with Cruz. So just be mindful of that. I know who your husband is, okay, and this could have turned out very badly, and he just needs to be more cognizant of that. Yes. All right, whether or not somebody cut him off or not, we'll take that with a grain of salt. But the speed that he was driving was not the speed limit. It was well over the speed limit because there's over two and a half feet worth of crush damage on this tree. This truck only weighs about 6,000 pounds. I'm a trained traffic investigator. That kind of crush depth would not have happened if he was only traveling at 25 miles an hour. Okay? So, just, there's no reason why he should have been driving, especially if you were right behind him. I mean, you guys are, are very aware of, of how this, this law works. Of You're course. very smart people. Of course. So, of course. just, of course. In the, there's no reason he should have been driving. He, you guys have to be mindful of that because then our hands are tied. I understand. I understand. And then we have to make phone calls and other people have to be involved. And it's just a, it puts everybody into a really crappy scenario. He then reiterates that Cruz is not in custody simply because no witnesses stuck around. The benefit here is that nobody out of the seven people that stopped and told me about this, nobody stayed to say he was in that car. Had that been the case, my traffic units would have been here, worked the crash, worked the DUI, and he would have gone to jail because he was obviously impaired. Nobody that's driving a car that has all their, all their faculties about them wouldn't know where the water came from on his on his truck on his shirt it's because he was he had a drink in his hand and when he crashed the drink went all over him and an airbag the the, the, the this crash in and of itself in the airbag wouldn't put somebody into that big of a loop that he didn't know what happened and it's because he's intoxicated again he urges cruz's wife to have a serious conversation with her husband saying there were many other options besides drinking and driving so please, please, please have a very candid conversation with him about it, that this could have been very, very bad for him. Yeah. Okay? I don't appreciate being not given factual points about what happened. I've I'm, never I'm, been in this situation. I, I know, okay. I know, and that's why I'm telling you. The I've, way to get out of this situation is nobody drives. I've, we have Uber, we have Lyft, we I've, have places that will pick up your car and tow it for free. You're with him. I imagine you were with him. I was a couple minutes behind him. Okay, yeah. so. Yeah. Thank you. Okay, Thank you. all right. Thank Just you. please, I don't want to, I don't ever want to have to do this to a public official at all. Okay, all right. He'll, he's going to do the crash. It should be fairly quick. He probably won't stay. You'll just have to stay and wait for the tow truck to get here and pull the car off. Yep. There's no property damage or anything, so Greyhawk doesn't even have to be involved. So it should just be you and your insurance at this point. Months after the crash, the state's attorney's office announced Cruz would be arraigned on one DUI charge. He later pleaded not guilty. But just this week, the state announced it would drop that charge. A judge had previously ruled the body camera video from the crash scene could not be used in Cruz's coming trial. Reporting for Long Crime Network, I'm Sierra Gillespie.